Caden's eating one of his favorite snacks. Huh. He likes clementines. Or just oranges. One at a time. <laughs> he literally just ate an entire orange. <laughs> String cheese. <laughs> Want Mama to help you? crackers. No, you like that. You love peanut butter. I don't know why you eat it like that. You always eat it the wrong way. And then he ends up opening it up. I'm waiting for my Young Living order to get here because I'm all out of some of my favorite oils. I get a lot of questions about this stand that I organize my oils with. Some of them are missing, so I brought them upstairs. Um, but usually this thing is full. I'm uh, all out of some of my favorites that I use like every day. Grapefruit, I'm almost out of my Citrus Fresh. Um, stress Away, I'm running low on. and. One of the blends that I like to do every day just for like a clean, crisp, nice kitchen smell um, is bergamot and then mix it with a bunch of like citrus. So I'll do bergamot and citrus fresh, maybe add some like lemon or I'll do bergamot, orange, grapefruit, lime. They're just, they're so good together. And I want to say this is like my fourth bottle of bergamot because I literally use it so much. Sorry, it's not out of autofocusing. Um, I'm obsessed. So this is actually a new bottle, but I did just order another because I use it so much. And um, Thieves is like the staple Young Living oil. I use this. What is up with my camera? I swear, I've dropped this thing so many times. It's just always out of whack. Um, these is one of those like staple oils too to mix with citrus as well kind of gives it like a spicy citrus Love this too, and I've been diffusing this a lot with lemon for just like immune boosting But usually every morning or afternoon when I'm cleaning the kitchen or just you know wanting it to smell nice in here. I will Do my oils so I also get asked how do I clean my diffuser? And I just use the Thieves Cleaner. This is the Young Living um, Thieves. I got my own label. This is just a glass bottle. But um, the Thieves All Purpose Household Cleaner, one cap full, fill it, up, fill it up with water. That's it, that's all you need. And this I clean everything with. Completely safe, all natural. Uh, so I just spray this down, wipe it with paper towel, and there you go. Baby. 
This corner over here with all of Caden's toys has just become very crowded and this is not even half of his toys. He has a lot more toys in his room. He has some in the garage. Um, but I recently just got this at uh, Home Goods, and I think it was like 60 bucks or something, but I wanted something like this, like a basket, but where I can like close it so it doesn't look too cluttered. I mean, obviously he has like a lot of bigger other toys, which I'm gonna filter them out because I feel like that's the best way for him to not get so bored playing with the same stuff. Um, so I'm probably gonna do that. I'm gonna filter some things out that are in the garage. And I just wanted to get um, something like this. Now I was looking at kind of like the circular taller ones that have just like the tops. But I feel like this is also easy for him, him to just go in and grab his toys. And he plays with the tops a lot so I like that. Um, I was thinking about putting it in the corner and then maybe having like his chair over there or something. But yeah, I just, this corner is kind of always messy with his stuff. I had to take his shirt off because he's drooling so much. Every day I have to put so many bibs and shirts on him and change them out. I wanted to show you guys, I got another diaper bag in the mail. And this is my third color in this diaper bag. I love it so much. So I wanted to show it again. It's a backpack diaper bag but it also has a regular strap. And they have a few different sizes. This is the larger size. <laughs> Let me turn this TV down. And this is the white color, but it's definitely more of a cream. I love the faux leather on here, and they're such good quality. Love the gold hardware. It's a really cute bag for it being a diaper bag, and this is pretty much what I carry on a day-to-day. I call this front part the mom pouch because I put all of my things in here and it's really roomy. Um, I was carrying around my black one for like the longest time, but as we're entering into springtime soon, kind of soon, I mean it's like a couple months away, um, I wanted a lighter color bag and I also have the like camel kind of color too, but it's the smaller version and I like the bigger one for all of Caden's stuff. It has two side pockets to put um, whatever you want in there with magnetic closures. And then I'll show you guys the inside. This is what it looks like on the inside. The material on the inside is really easy to clean, like surprisingly super easy. Comes with a changing pad, also comes with stroller straps, and then the additional like bigger strap, like I said. Um, a ton of elastic, like, sectioned pockets so usually I'll do like wipes on one side diapers on the other snacks and stuff I've showed like everything in my diaper bag before um, might do an updated one now that he's a little bit older I feel like I carry a little bit less with me always have a change of clothes and stuff um, but I just I don't have as much because he's entering into like toddler definitely have to carry more snacks with me it's so roomy. Um, I love the fact that I can kind of like stack things and open it up from the top. My other favorite diaper bag is like the Itsy Ritzy, so I kind of go in between these two. I also have the fawn design. One thing I don't love about the fawn design is that it is very heavy just on its own. This is super lightweight just by itself. Um, the faux leather on here is super good quality and so is the fawn design, but the hardware and the actual bag is so heavy, so once you fill it up, it's just incredibly heavy. Um, so I kind of like this one a little bit more. I kind of like the design a little bit more. That's just my personal thoughts. I could do a whole video like of a comparison if you guys would like to see that of the different ones that I have. Um, there's also a zipper pocket in the back, so I'll usually just keep a few things in there, maybe for me. Um, and then like I said, the front pouch is magnetic with a zipper too. I like that there's a zipper because if anything were to come out, which it doesn't really, but it's just easy if it's on your back, if someone tries to get in, I don't know, I just appreciate the zipper. So I'll keep my keys, um, a few makeup products, maybe some lip products. Just any of my mommy things in there. Really, really like this color for springtime. So can't wait to 
fill this up and start using it. I have a 25% off if you guys use my link in the description box. Um, you can get 25% off any of the bags on their site. Uh, they also have really cute lunch bags. So I also like to carry some snacks in that. They got a lot of cute things. So check it out. I'll have a link below for you guys. I'm an affiliate with them. So I do earn a small commission on you guys using my link. But other than that, this is not a sponsored video. Uh, I truly love their diaper bags and I continue to get more because I love them. I really would like one in every single color because they're just so nice. This is my itsy ritzy one, and this is a lot bigger. I feel like this was great for when Caden was like a baby. Um, I can fit so much more in here. The style is a lot different. I think I did a whole video on um, like what was in this. Might have been my hospital bag, I don't remember. But this is a lot different because of the way it opens, because it opens all the way. It's pretty messy in here, I actually don't know. I have a lot of stuff in here, but it opens all the way, so it's a little bit harder when you're out and about to just quickly grab something because you do have to open up, open it up all the way. Just depends on what you're looking for. I have a, some of their packing cubes and stuff too. Um, I don't have much in here, just some lovies, a jacket. <laughs> I didn't really, I haven't really gone anywhere, so. But yeah, this is another one that I love love this one too but now I'm using the Luli baby uh, one a lot more I just find myself I just find it a little bit more like practical but this is also one of my faves you could definitely do like a whole video on differences and comparing careful honey are you getting cranky you ready for a nap yeah Katie just went down for a nap um, and Anthony's cooking dinner he's making the Famous feta, feta, was that just feta pasta? I don't know, what do they call it? Feta and tomato. Feta and tomato pasta, we'll see if it's good. Um, I mean, it's, it's common sense that it's gonna be good, it's feta and tomato. Yeah. I meant to put on makeup today because I wanted to do something else on my Instagram. Couldn't get around to it, um, so. I just finished blow drying my hair and I just put it up in a clip. I wear these clips like every single day. Hayden will probably get up at like six, which is almost now. And then he ends up going to bed again at eight. His sleep schedule's been very off. I feel like I'm not sure if he needs to drop his second nap or not. It's just been, I've just been going with whatever I feel he needs because it's just been very confusing. This whole transition to one year old, like toddler stage, it's been a little, little hard and inconsistent with his schedule, but it is what it is. I got this really cute package from Josie Marin. They sent this little crew neck sweatshirt, which is really nice. And then their new Argan Pro Retinol Whipped Body Butter. I actually already put it on my legs when I got out of the shower. And then a brush. I actually don't own one of these. I think I have something similar in my shower, but not this kind of like body polish brush thing. I heard this is really good for like cell rejuvenation and cell renewal and whatnot. My legs are very, very, very dry with this winter weather. I'm like so over it. Also these really cozy socks that are like high and very buttery soft so just wanted to share that all right don't mind how dirty our stove is yeah we use it every day because i cook all the time <laughs> pretty good pretty good not yeah. the best it's just not I mean, it's good. It's really good, but I'm saying like, it's not life changing, but not. I told Ryan I'd bring it. It's not like worth the all the hype. I'm still in my pajamas. Why? Because we have no Tupperware. Anyone here really wanted to try it? It's so easy. 
I mean, the recipe is like super simple. Yeah. This is my problem. I go like all day without having a decent meal and then I have to take my medicine. Front door. My blood pressure medicine. So I have to take it on a full stomach. Now I'm gonna have to pee a lot because one of the medications that I'm on is a water pill. Also the water pill that I'm on, they said it is not really even working, but I'm on another medication as well. Two. Front door. Ryan was going down the steps and all he hears, boom. He literally fell into the door. I was like, there's a door there. Just watch out for that. I would probably make it better though if there was some protein. Some chicken on it. I used. There's a hair. And that's your hair. That's not my hair. That is you. That's Grayson's hair. Um. A. About a tablespoon. Or a, a teaspoon table. Tablespoon's bigger, right? Mm-hmm. I always get them mixed up. Are you sure? You're correct? Yes. Tablespoon's bigger. Babe, a tablespoon and a tea, tea, think, tea, tiny. Tea, tiny. Yeah, and then table is like bigger. Shows how often you've been cooking around here. I never use measurements. I'm just trying to. No, no, you don't. You don't need to do measurements for this. You got some, what are you doing? I was supposed to get my hair done last week and it got put postponed because of the snow. I was supposed to get it done today and then it got postponed. It is so brassy. And my roots are really bad. Which, I just get a touch up balayage, but I don't know. And I hate vlogging with no makeup on because my breakouts have been really bad recently. Is he gonna, you gonna? Is he gonna wake up anytime soon? Probably not. He'll probably wake up around eight o'clock. What was that? Who eats a whole thing themselves? Who does that? I do. It's sick. Who eats a whole jar of pickles themselves? I do. Who eats a whole thing of hot dogs in one sitting? Disgusting. Mm. Thanks for dinner. You're welcome. Hey, my baby. Yeah. You got the new passy. Got the new yeah, passy. Like yeah. <laughs> you get, what is this? I can Crazy. read those two. Want to eat some dinner? I have a lot. Oh, nice. That one's dope. We have the, the same one. kind of pajamas on because they feel cool. the same. They're so soft. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was a big bird. Are you going to eat your dinner? I'm full. You literally ate two bites. That's because you ate an entire jar of salsa. Yeah, and three pickles. Good morning. I am making my coffee. Um, I didn't end up vlogging the rest of the day yesterday. So I just thought I would combine these vlogs. And I'm just um, making my latte. I do double shot espresso in my Nespresso machine and then just some almond caramel milk. It also snowed last night, again. I'm like so over it. I'm literally ready for springtime. Probably should take these pajamas off. <laughs> this robe and the pajamas are from Target if you wanna know. I'll try to link them below on my like to know it. Um, but I've been obsessed with these pajamas. I've been wearing them like literally every single day. So I probably should change and get into a normal outfit today. I'll probably do my makeup today. I have to do my um, aunt's hair, my grandmother's hair, and then my mom's friend's hair today. We have a lot of hair today. Um, so, and I don't really have a babysitter for Kaden. We'll see how it goes because it's very hard to get things done especially hair, with him being as active as he is. He's playing with Keurig cups. Come here. He is playing with this thing. And he's wearing the same thing as last night. I didn't get him changed yet. We were just watching Mickey. It is actually 
a little bit later. He got up at like 8.45 because he went to bed kind of late last night. I am so sad because my like really good um, 70D camera broke. This is what I used to film like a lot of my main channel videos on and I love this camera. I have like multiple lenses to go with it. This actually broke, I want to say like almost two years ago. It had to have been like right after my wedding or before my wedding. I don't remember, but I have not gotten it fixed since then. I thought I would be able to fix it myself. Anthony has literally taken this thing entirely apart and he still just cannot figure it out. If anyone knows this Canon issue or with this specific camera, maybe the battery's dead, I'm gonna charge it, but basically it turns on um, and then you cannot see anything on the screen. Um, the shutter does not work, like it will not completely take a picture, it will not record. I just really don't understand it, so I'm probably gonna have to ship it out to Canon, which I meant to do so long ago, and then I just never got around to it. Um, but I really want it to work again because I have been really wanting to film with this camera more um, because I have it, like I might as well, and it's the best like camera that I have. Not for vlogs, but just like sit down videos. Like it's just aesthetically really nice looking and I have like a really nice lens that I put on it. So, I don't know. I'm probably gonna have to ship it out to Canon. If any of you guys know of a similar issue, let me know because I just, I don't know what to do. I also don't know how much it would cost and would it even be worth me getting another camera? Like, when I invested in this camera, it was a lot of money. I think probably total for everything with the lenses was like $1,000 and I just, cannot find myself to do that again. Um, I'm hoping it's fixable, so. That is on the agenda today, is just doing hair. I'm gonna try to get myself looking a little bit more presentable, do my makeup, hopefully when he goes down for a nap. But I might have to do it while he's not napping because I think I want him to nap when they get here. So yeah, I'll show you how that goes, how I get ready with a toddler. I can't believe I'm calling him a toddler now, like, he's not a baby anymore. But my skin has been breaking out a ton. My cycle's kind of been a little off. I actually, actually had a little bit of like a pregnancy scare this past month. It wasn't really a scare, but I just found myself being extremely emotional. If you saw my last vlog, I was like crying and talking to you guys about like this big change in my life. And I said in the video, I was like, oh my God, could I be pregnant? And I did take a pregnancy test because I was a little nervous. TMI, but like my period ended up coming like five days early. It was very weird, not expected. So I've just kind of been a little off and I think that's why I'm like breaking out a lot. So just not feeling, not feeling great, but I have a few brand partnerships that I need to work on. So a lot going on this month, but I am just so ready for spring. I just cannot wait for the warmer weather. Not even just like warm weather, like just to be done with this snow and everything. It's like messing up my mood. I haven't gone anywhere, like I literally have not done anything and I've just been so bored. And I also feel like Caden's getting really bored too just cause like we're not able to go out, we can't go to the park, we can't go on walks, like everyday routine of just being in the house I think has kind of affected him a little bit. I just realized my lens was like messed up. I wanna try to do some more like activities with him. Um, I've been looking up on Pinterest and I've seen a lot of you guys recommend Melina Ciciotti. I already watch her, I love her. But she does a lot of sensory play with her babies. Um, and she has a toddler and I wanna do some more of that. Just for us to have like some activities during the day and something a little bit different, something that um, I think he would really enjoy, so. I want to do some of those. Maybe I'll do a vlog on it or something, but it's so unorganized in here too because it's just all thrown in there. That's mom life. You're going to put your teeth in that and then start eating coffee. How about we don't do that, honey? You can play with it, but we're not going to eat it, okay? Oh my God, I think you really did hit your head. 
Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. This kid hits his head like every day. Also wanted to show you guys this vacuum. I want to put it up on the wall. But I got this on Amazon and this is such a great find. I think I have it on my Amazon shop but I'll link it below. This is so great for the kitchen and just like picking up crumbs and stuff. I literally didn't have like a small vacuum to use every day. I was swiffering and just using like my dustpan and brush every day and it was getting exhausting. Especially with like Grayson's hair and stuff, it's just so annoying. So I got this, it's so lightweight. It's similar to like a Dyson, but just like not the hefty price tag. I think it's like, I don't know, three or four times less than what the Dyson is. And it's really nice, but it's also like small and compact so it's easy to fit in like, you know, a small space like if I had a um, closet to put my cleaning products in which I don't <laughs> I'd be able to put it in a closet um, probably just gonna hang it up on the wall here in the kitchen but it works really well and the only thing I've heard people complain about is like it not lasting as long with the charge but because I only use it in the kitchen I don't find myself needing it like all over the house you know um, it has this like really cool swivel feature, really easy to get under furniture because you can like go all the way under. And I mean, I have to empty this, but it got a lot of hair and crumbs. Just really easy to clean after um, Caden eats food and snacks and stuff. So I'm, I'm so glad that I got this. It's like 150 bucks but I feel like it's so worth it. It has a light that comes on. And it also has this like easy rest thing so you can like rest it on something and it won't fall over. This like little thing right here. Um, I'm trying to think of other features. Oh this stick part can like come off and then you can just attach the top to the bottom so it becomes like a smaller vacuum and then you can do other areas like I'll do my stairs or whatever but I love it I really really like it and I've had it in my Amazon cart like my saved for later for literally months and then I just decided to snag it and I'm so glad that I did so if you're interested check it out I'll have a link below that dad wants to see your face can he see you Kaden where are you taking him Hey, Dad, Dad.
I started hair at 12 and I didn't get done till like 6. I'm exhausted. Um, it's like almost 8 o'clock. Caden has not gone to bed yet because he took a late nap. So he probably won't go to bed till like... 8 30 or something but anthony's picking up some food and we're gonna eat dinner we gotta feed grayson actually i think anthony already fed him and i'm just getting some food for katie right now like i said his like whole sleep schedule has been so out of whack what happened um and i feel like he might be ready to drop the second nap because it's kind of affecting like when he goes down for a second nap but i also feel like but i also feel like some days he needs that second nap and it doesn't affect him sleeping through the night like he'll still sleep through the night he's still he'll still sleep like 12 hours but his usual bedtime has been changing so i don't know we're just gonna see what what to do and I'm, I'm just not like making it a strict bedtime anymore like it doesn't really have to be like he sleeps through the night he's such a good sleeper so I don't really worry about that um you want some food <laughs> Sweetness could reach everyone. There'd be no wars. Mm 